All right, I'm back. I'm going to keep the deck tech nice and quick this time. We played with the uh, Fog Drake thingy, the, the Drake fling combo. We played that yesterday, and it was my first shot at it. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. So Rabble Ma Master, who you may know from the NGA forums, direct DM'd me afterwards, and he had a list, and he said it's been tuned a lot, and he's... He thinks it's the way to go for the deck. Different from what I was doing yesterday, but I will indulge him today by giving this a shot. And I think it's only right that we give it a trial. And that we put it through the quest for the best qualifying round. Some interesting spots, hand weird battlements. As opposed to my expedite, which I still like my expedite, but here's what we're going to do. It's not my list today. It's exactly as it was sent to me. Um, so a rise from the tides and a green warden on the top end. We still have the flames. Uh, all this is familiar. The geist blast I find interesting. Cathartic. I'm not even sure what you discard, but I guess it's matchup dependent, right? I don't think anything here loves being discarded. Just depending what you have in your hand and what you need for the game. Sorry, I got this. I got a peanut stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Gotta get it out. Hard. <laughs> All right. Um, commencement of festivities and uh, fogs. This deck is pretty all in on that stuff. And I am not a fan. But, like I said, they, Rabs and uh, unnamed someone, worked on this deck. I did not. This is what they consider a tuned list. So, let's work it. Let's at least give it the qualifier treatment, right? Let's see if it... Let's see if it can rot, if it can go 9-1 or 10-0 and qualify for the quest for the best playoffs. Mm -hmm. And we've already got a taker. Somebody wants to duel. It's Liliana. Her throne is high, yo. She way up there. <laughs> like, that is a scenic view. I'm picturing someplace like out of uh, the first three. And by that I mean this, the middle three, but chronologic, like the way that they try to put them in order. The first three Star Wars films had a lot of like scenes like this of like super panoramics. They thought that would make up for a lack of character development. Psycho Man, I'm sure I've played this person a few times. Absolutely sure, but it's the Hundo stack. Good thing we're not trying to mill him. Good thing we're not trying to mill him today. Oh, ugh. Hmm. All right. Ugh. Oh, lordy. At least our opponent mulligan too, but I don't think we can turn away having our mana. And what do we need? Green, I guess? Triple Fog Snap Keep. Hey! Am I seeing this right? Is uh, MTG bot back so you guys can spam Fog? Because God knows that's why you're here. Flames, don't know if that's going to matter in this matchup. I have no idea what we're facing. It's a hundo stack, so we know it probably has a mix of small things and big things. Uh-oh, one land stuck. Maybe we'll get the concession victory. I'd take it. I'd take it. At this point, we're just super flooded. <laughs> and we know that Screw beats Flood eventually when they draw their lands. Oh my. Of course. Of course. Of course our spell would be an irrelevant one, and it would be a two of that we already have one of in our hand. Psycho Man gonna drop off. What the hell is that? Daring Demolition. Destroy target creature or vehicle for four mana sorcery speed. Well, there you have it. Alright, second land. It's on. Shit just got real. Loam Larva sets up third land. It's, it's so real. 
It's so real right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> More land. Sweet. 22 lands in the deck, by the way. We've got eight of them here. So more than a third of the land in our deck, in our top 12. Balling out of control. Here comes that loam larva beat. Loam larva giving good beats. I mean, that, that, that's a pretty scary little larva. Ah, oh, there's a card. I wonder if that'll get some velocity going. I'm just going to do it main phase and hope that we hit something playable, like a thing in the ice. Just something. Ca something cause a ruckus. Nope. I guess we'll take the wilds then to thin. What'd we mill away? Bog. <laughs> of course we did. Thin that deck. God knows I don't want to draw more land. Keeping the loam larva on the move. How long till we radiant flames away a loam larva? What do you guys think? How many turns should we give loam larva? I think I'd just die to it. I think I would just let the loam larva kill me. I It, it would be too shameful to radiant flames it. Oh my lord. <laughs> Naked pulse. Okie dokie. Welcome to the stream, and yes, indeed, we are taking the we are taking the Drake deck, uh, Rabble Masters version, through the qualify the qualifier round for the next quest for the best, and see how it goes. We we're we're I think on a five card hand. It was either a six card hand or a five card hand. Our opponent kept a five card hand with one land. They discarded to hand size. That's the second time they've done that. We've just been flooded, and we've drawn the most irrelevant spells possible. So that's what's going on here. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a T-Rex slap fight all the way. All the way. Neither of our decks are doing anything like they're supposed to be doing. Anything interesting. Fog the larva? No, I have too much pride. We already discussed this. I'm not going to flames it and I'm not going to fog it. I'll, I'll just die to it if that's what it takes. All right. Here we go. Now, what am I supposed to reunion with? That's weird, right? I mean, don't really need you. Right now, anyway. And I guess I don't need you. So, uh, keeping the pulses lets me fight through removal if I find a creature. So that's what we'll try. And discard some of the stall spells and try to draw some velocity. Hey, now we doing it. Now we doing it. Uh, thing in the frickin' ice. Not gonna give it haste. I'm sure you can understand why. I'm sure you can put that together. Alright, here we go. Uh, Drake in the yard. We got the ways to get it back. Sweet. This is, this is good stuff. This is, here we go. We're gonna do it now. We're gonna put together the combo. Here comes the Rex Sage. By the way, in case you didn't catch it at the beginning, there is a Geist Blast in this deck, so perhaps we can answer the, the question from yesterday's stream of what happens when you Geist Blast a fling. I'll be trying to answer that, especially if I can find a way to do it without throwing a game. All right, give me that Drake. How, how much we got? 10-4. Um, game. Game? Game. Yeah, game, baby. All I had to do was reunion one time. We call this the kill shot. I don't think I have the Geist Blast in there, do I? Hold on, let's check. 
Did I hit the Geist Blast? Nope, didn't hit it, sorry. So maybe next time. <laughs> Just not impressive enough for you, huh? <laughs> Zorch! We had to go through half our deck, but then we dropped the frickin' hammer. 1-0. 1-0. Come on, I gotta update those standings. There we go. People have to know. People have to be aware. <laughs> yeah, if, if neither of our decks do anything for long enough, eventually, eventually, we just one-shot them. Ba-boom. Boom. Boom shakalaka. That, yeah, Gimmick Man already said Boom Shakalaka. That's where I got it. <laughs> Thank you, Gimmick Man, for this throwback. I'm pretty sure that was a thing from NBA Jam. For anybody who knows the beauty that is NBA Jam in the arcade. In probably, oh yeah, certainly in the 90s. One of the greatest experiences you could possibly have. Oh, we got a rank 40. Here we go. Um, this hand is actually good, but the land is slow. So this is gonna get interesting, but we'll try it. Play this. So I can drop thing if I draw any untapped land. I doubt I'm gonna fog on turn one. Let's just say that's that's not in my range. That's what I'm trying to say. And it looks like we're going to get the opportunity to curve nicely. Thing in the ice, homie. But that's interesting, uh, Justice, but that's what we were trying to figure out. Like, it's not an X, so that's part of the debate. But I do think you're, you're probably correct. All right, so we got this thing. What's going on? Whenever you exert a creature, you may loot stuff. Okay. I'm wondering if I need to just, like, spike a drake and make him kill it. That's probably a good play, considering we have the grapple. So I think, yeah, we're just going to run this out and see if we can get some punches in with it. And see if he can deal with our our walls. He plays second creature with flames. If he doesn't, we'll think about grappling. Okay, second creature. Yeah, 04 Drake, I know. Not, not the impressive state of the card. See what he loots. He's gonna exert. We have exertion. You want a pump? That would be fine. Nope. Ooh. All right. I think I'll just hold out on everything. We'll just chill. Especially since that creature is exerted. See if we can get him to play another thing, another card or two. Shouldn't say thing. Refers to something else on the battlefield. Unclear language. Man, they're gonna need a bigger boat. Is that is that a famous line from something? I don't know. Thalia's Lieutenant. Sweet. What else you got? I ain't fogging that. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Don't ask. <clears throat> I'll take my beats. Yes, more creatures. I love you. You are my new favoritist opponent. Oh, how greedy am I? I could try to find an untapped land. Nah. Just, no. No. All right, Drake, get in there. 
Start slapping them around for one. Perfect. All right, red, white, what you got? Got scavenger number three. Still not gonna get through the thing. The mighty thing in the ice. There's some thing. Thing in the ice. Uh, let's tell the time. What time is it? It is time to tell more time. Think, think. Uh, do I need more festivities? Well, I don't need more land, so I guess I'll put the festivities on top. And we'll tell more time. We'll play the land first. Then I am a fog away from thing flip if I want to. Dealer's choice on who that was, Shaolin. It can be Shatner. It can be whatever you want it to be. Whatever it is, it's a bad impression. If you're like, who is that? I I failed at my I failed at my purpose. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Ring it, scavenger. Don't make me do this. I will if I have to. Fails the Sage is gonna loot. Or rummage. Sorry, rummaging is different from looting. You have to discard first to rummage. What else you got? Nada. Oh, do we use, do we jam with thing here? I don't think so. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, five, six, seven, 14. I need two more damage somewhere. Can I pull two more damage out of my butt? No, I don't think so. We'll just send in the Drake. It's all good. No rush. Plus our opponent has a whole bunch of open mana. And we will play this very, very boring, not very combo-y feeling game. Because it's smart, but it's not half as much fun. There is a card I could use. Well, we're going to go ahead and fire it off and flip thing, because if it hits, we just win off the fling. Flinging the thing. Oh my. Thank you for the suggestions for things to put in the deck. Uh, just a quick reminder, it's not my list, it's the Rabble list, and he stands by it adamantly. He's apparently worked on a lot with somebody else who is unnamed. So, I promised him I'd put, well, I didn't promise, but I certainly uh, embraced the challenge of putting it through, through the ladder a bit, seeing if it can survive Xbox land. All right, why the hell not? Fling the thing. I don't know what red-white could interact with that they wouldn't have already played. Bam. Done it. Duo. Red-white just couldn't handle getting that mega radiant flamed. Sometimes you just, like, like Shaolin in chat, you know this. Sometimes you just throw all your creatures on the board, you cross your fingers, and... Ah, all hope gets burned alive. Uh, and then you still somehow win, which is not common in my experience. Yep, sometimes you get wiped. <laughs> All right, get pretty or die is our opponent. I find I find this language 
uh, very bullying and not inclusive. So I will win this for all the people who don't want to get pretty or die. The ones who, who want a third option. This one's for you. I'm gonna put on my white knight hat and win this one for you guys. And girls, and people who haven't specified what gender they are. I'm not assuming any of your genders, of course. Wouldn't do that. Goblin Balloon Brigade! Right on. Well, that invalidates my thing in the ice, don't it? Oh well. Gonna play it anywho. Bring the gobos. At least I gotta make you pay a mana to deal me one damage. We're gonna fight the real fight. Inferno Fisting. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's see. I mean, this deck can do all it wants to in Steam and iOS and even in Paper Magic, but nothing prepares you for the Xbox Inferno Fist on the 1-1 Flyer meta. Nothing. Alright. 0 for 3 on the land drop. We hit another grapple of flames and a telling time. Interesting, interesting. Keep it coming. Gotta keep hitting these land drops. This is definitely a game for Rise from the Tides. It might just be a game for Thing in the Ice. Salmon says, didn't mean to paste that entire thing. Sorry. Well, I didn't see it, so it got auto-modded. I have no idea what you pasted. Ah, sh oh man. Triple, double aura. Double aura. Now he doesn't have to pay for flying. Oh no. Here it comes, these. Alrighty. It's on. I mean, it's a good thing we have fog. I don't know how else we'd stop this madness. Um, What am I supposed to do with this turn, though? I can keep hitting my land drops. That's probably good. And if I had a green mana, I can gather as well. So, yeah, we'll try that. Yep, more Evolving Wilds. It's in that deck, baby. All right, one more turn of fun for you, Mr. Balloon Brigade, or Miss. I'm not assuming it's gender. And then we will have to take countermeasures against this. Oh God, now it's indestructible too. This is getting, this is getting out of hand. This is getting far too out of hand. Oh, we're not gonna win with Drake Fling in this game, most likely. We're either gonna win with Thing in the Ice or Rise from the Tides, but I will keep in mind that it requires double red. Like, this is the kind of deck that just may have no solutions in the entire uh, 60 for a flipped thing in the ice or a rise from the tides at all. Hey, top deck like a champ. All right, what's our, what are we doing with our life? What's happening here? Something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. I think we'll flip thing in the ice and get it reprisaled. I think that's the plan. All right. So... Hmm... I guess sequencing, not really important. I guess we'll play this first in case we hit a better option. Yeah, this uh, this Goblin Bloom Brigade, it is, it is living the dream. It dreamed a dream. And, uh... Well, if this thing flips, then it dreamed a dream in time gone by, and he didn't even Inferno Fist me. Let's hope that means uh, that he has reprisal. Or she. Sorry. Not assuming. Gotta get, gotta, gotta get better at this. Alright. Send the monster. Gonna reprise me. Gonna bless it a lie me. 
Nope, not today. So hopefully we can find a fling, just so I can put these questions to rest of what happens when you Geist Blast a fling. That's really what I want to do in this game, more than win. I, I want this to stop. This is now two days of chat going, going round on this. So we're going to continue playing, and I'm going to try to get this done. I'm going to try to get this done. All I have to do is find a fling, and we can make, we can make this real. We can, we can settle this. All right. Find me a fling. Not yet. And no mana cast. Awesome. Send the monster. <clears throat> we got some aspiring MTG judges out there. The, the interesting thing about duels is it doesn't even matter what the rules say. Okay, let me let me just put it that way. Let me put it this way. It does not matter what the rules say at all. All that matters in a digital client is how it resolves. Which is why I always find it interesting when people get into these uh, debates over what the rules should be. All that matters is how the digital client makes it resolve. Just putting that out there for y'all. <laughs> all right, give me some cards. Uh, you're not a fling. How about you? Are you a fling? Just trying to get my fling on. Nope. How about next? <laughs> You're a fling. Okay. Um, we need to wait a turn, but we're gonna we're gonna settle the score. The score is going to get settled. So I'm not even going. To, well, I'm going to attack. What am I gonna do? Um. I really want to know if it hits for 7 or not, so if I take him to 16, I can go boom, boom. I guess it doesn't matter if I win. I just want to know how it works, so we'll just poke him. Give him a little pokey, a little tap, 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 roo. By the way, we could drake him for 20. Good to know. Good to know. Potentially unimportant. Not, not the point of what we're up to right now. Look at all that. <laughs> We have higher aspirations. All right. Bling. Target you. Sacrifice. Awoken horror. Pause. Geist blast. Copy. Fling. Pay. Target you. All right, if he goes to two, we know. Boom, seven. Boom, seven. All right, there you have it. Fling copies for the amount of, the fling that is copied for the amount of power that was originally sacrificed. Are you all happy? <laughs> we have solved it. We have settled the argument, I believe. Nothing, no other creatures had to die. It's, 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 it's all good. It's all good, man. <laughs> By the way, how tight would it be right now if he had active treason? <laughs> how great would that be? That would be the life, baby. <laughs> all right, did it. Settled an argument. Got that 3-0. Rules debate put to bed.